Uh, my name is Lita Parton, and I am an Associate Professor and Director of Surgical Technology here at North Arc. Uh, we have a very nice facility here. Our lab, uh, when we're working in there, it simulates so closely the hospital environment. When uh, we have most of the equipment that you would see in an actual operating room, uh, you are allowed to scrub in. We open up the sterile case or the sterile field, you scrub in. You learn and simulate operating procedures in our lab uh, just as closely as possible to the actual operating room environment so that when you come into the program, you're allowed that learning phase in our lab for you to practice and nurture your skills and uh, prepare you for that clinical experience so that you have the foundation and the support that you need to transition from that lab to the clinical. That's important and uh, we have uh, an excellent lab for you to, to have the opportunity to do that. During the program, you will have uh, classroom work. You will be uh, working in the lab. We teach all of our skill levels in the lab before you go to the hospital to do the clinical phase of that program. So we try to give you an opportunity to learn, to practice, to perfect your skills, and then we take you to the operating room where we pair you up with preceptors and you scrub in on cases to gain your expertise to become job ready for entry level employment uh, in the field. Hi, I'm Lucas Allen. I graduated from North Arc through the Certified Surgical Technologist Program. Lita was great as an instructor. She a uh, real informative, laid a really good foundation for everything you were gonna need in the field. Great clinical coach just stay real positive and do anything to help you out, kind of a teacher. The program has a surgery center basically set up in the classroom, OR beds, OR lights, the whole, the whole nine yards, and we were able to use the instruments, and we had two different clinical sites. We were able to see a bunch of different doctors, see a bunch of different procedures, and uh, the second semester of the program, you were pretty much in, in the OR every day working. The position of surgical technologists is they need them all over the country. Every hospital that I've seen, talked to, or been around needs them all the time because they're always moving. People want to go get new experience at different hospitals. So it's a real fluid environment and I was actually guaranteed a job before I graduated with one of the clinical sites and had been offered other positions. I wanted to stay local for the first little bit, work at Harrison's Hospital, and that was one of the clinical sites, and it, it picked me right up. It's not hard to find a job as a surgical tech at all. You can find one anywhere in the country. There's thousands and thousands of open positions. For anyone who might have an interest in this program, I encourage you to come by, visit with me. Let me give you some information about our program, about the profession. As part of our um, entry or admission process, uh, I visit with you. We do arrange for you to do an observation in the operating room where you can go firsthand and see what surge techs do, uh, where they work, what they do, uh, because not a lot of people really know who we are or what we do. So I would welcome you to stop by our, our classroom and our lab and uh, let me give you some more information.